Today's video is a little show of <coughs> what it takes to service a pinball machine. This is a World Cup Soccer 94, made in 94 for the World Cup in the USA in 94. This is what it looks like. And just to show you that it has some dirt in there and it has some old rubber in there and that's all been obscured by ramps and plastics. There's a goalie target which I will fix. This is the other side showing some more grime and the extent to which you need to strip this machine down to get to all the dirty bits. So the service is basically just cleaning it but to clean it you need to take the ramps off and to get the ramps off you need to unplug all these little connectors that go to the lamps and the switches mounted on the ramps themselves. Once you get those unplugged and some of the hardware there's a ramp diverter that connects through to the bottom of the playfield with this flipper type mechanism. You, pull, you loosen that and you pull it off and then you can get the ramp off. Um, provided that you've pulled all the little wiring harnesses out. It can be tricky, just take your time. Stripping a machine usually takes a day or two, depending on how much video footage you're taking for show-off purposes or teaching purposes. Putting it back together takes a bit longer depending on how many photographs you've taken and the quality of your footage. Now once you get the ramps off, first of all you can reach all the dirty spots on the playfield, but you can also take them and wash them and rinse them and get them cleaned properly. Because they do clean up nicely. There's the mini playfield and the mounting holes have been crushed by the screws there. This is the goalie target, spring loaded, so you don't break it when you hit it while it's moving. Also got a little switch connector, that one there. The switch itself has come loose and the wires have broken off and it's been patched with some hot glue, mainly to stop vibration I'm thinking but it didn't do much for the connectivity. So that'll be cleaned up and fixed and a new goalie plate with a goalie decal fixed to the front of that switch. So it doesn't look like a switch, it has a little plastic goalie marking the goal. Here we have most of the ramps and plastics off. To show you the hidden dirt and posts and things that all have old rubber on them that needs to come off. These rubber sleeves last three, four times as long as the white stuff, so when I don't need to replace them, I don't, because unscrewing from a playfield and rescrewing will wear out the hole, so I'm tr I try to keep that down to a minimum. But here you can see the grime that's been accumulating on the playfield, and that is your enemy. These are the diagnostic switches which you can use to put the machine in a diagnostic mode to test the lamps and stuff and one of the switches didn't make proper contact, that one there. Also used to set the volume down, volume up. So you remove that to inspect it properly and you can see that it's been messed with previously. The wires have been moved from the one row to the next. I moved them back and now it works fine. I've put a new sticker on the bracket just to make it look cool. I've done some cleaning. Flipper bits still need some thinners on there to get that little bit of rubber marking off them. Just be careful so you don't spill it on the rest. But to get the grime off the playfield makes it go faster and then after you've cleaned it you can also Put some Novus on or some car polish will work. That'll make it even more slippery, play faster. 
And this is just checking all the switched illumination, making sure that all the lamps work. There's still one that's not cooperating, but you find them by either looking at the top or going into the bottom and checking out all these little sockets. You'll see they. You can clearly see when a lamp is not working. And here I have them sorted to my liking. Playfield's been cleaned in the process. There's a new goalie target. Um, this is an exercise in focus, which I'll probably remove. New goalie target, the lamps are done, the polish has made a difference. The other side, the flipper bats have been cleaned. Everything looks good. It doesn't look new because, I mean, it's, you know, there's still some physical wear on the thing, but it plays like a new one because it's nice and slippery. Mini play field mounting holes have been fixed with some epoxy putty and reed rolled so they it sits the way it should now. It's all level and at the right height. Here we have the bottom ramp already installed. Just making sure everything is kosher before you put the top ramp on. And there's the top ramp connects to the mini play field. And this is the final result, polished, cleaned, rubbered.